Hey guys, welcome back. And for those that are new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie. And for today, I get so many questions on what is the easiest way to start a website? What do I think will help especially people that don't really know what they're doing when it comes to starting a website and even experts like what platform has it all so I'm here to hook it up and definitely let you know that I discovered Shop Liza and I'm really impressed. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that big red button down below to join this amazing community and let's get into it. Okay guys, so Shop Liza is your e-commerce partner and your business builder. It has every feature that you need in order to build that website for your online business. I was blown away by all the features that they offer. I've never seen anything like this, so that's why I had to get on here and really show you guys what this is about. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment them down below, but let's go to my screen so I can show you guys exactly how I build a website using Shop Liza. Guys, so here we are. We're on shopliza.com and this is where you will see the front page. It says go big, go online, go global. So I absolutely love that. A little positivity as soon as you go on their website, which is always a plus. And you can see here, this is just like their home screen showing you how you can also manage your orders and all that good stuff. So these are the different themes that you can customize to make it your own. We'll get into that further in the three steps is exactly what it is you choose a theme you pop in your products and then boom there you go go ahead start selling and you are on your way with your e-commerce platform to be very successful so they do have all the protections the support everything you need like i said we will get into that more but i just want to show you guys the front screen so when you see it yourself you're like Oh yeah, this is exactly what Stephanie was talking about. So once you get on there, you just want to sign up, put in your information. You can try for the free seven day trial, or you can just sign up for it right away. Trust me, you'll want to sign up after you mess with it a little bit because it's worth it. And yeah, no, so I signed up already and now I'm going to show you guys my home screen. Okay guys, so once you sign in, this will be the first page you see, and this is just your overall data. Um, obviously, my website is not live, so that's why my numbers are atrocious. <laughs> but once your website is up and running, you will see this like all your orders in one place, payments to capture, all your total visitors for the day. Literally, it'll tell you each and everything, which is amazing. And then it's very self-explanatory, which I love. But for right now, I want to show you guys how to build an online store with Shopliza. And then we'll get into all their features that you can use once your website's up and running. So when you are looking to build it, you go to your online store. And I actually have money to go. Um, I really, really love it. It's a pet store. You guys know I'm a pet mom and I've always wanted to own, you know, pet related businesses. So I decided to use this and we'll see how it goes. But before we get into showing you guys how my website came out, once you reach your online store to themes, these are the free themes and or templates, as you call it, that you can use in order to start your website. So it's super convenient literally you can just preview them before you add them let's say we wanted to go with this for more of like the fashion this is like ready to go look how beautiful i actually think this looks really really good and i love it i would shop on this site and then yeah if you want it then you go back to where we were and you add to theme library and then boom you start customizing it so for today, we are going to be using Jupiter because that is the one that I want to use for my pet store and I want to add it to my theme library. And as you can see here, all your themes will pop up all together, which is convenient. So you know which ones you're using. 
So we're just going to go right into it and we're going to press customize. These are the actions they have once everything's said and done, but let's just customize it and we are going to start making it our own. So this is what they give you. So the template itself is good to go, but you know me, I like to spice it all up. So here we go. Let's first start with navigation. I don't have a name yet. I don't know what I would name my store as of yet. So we won't be doing a logo or anything like that. I will just leave that how it is. Um, just gonna delete the period after the worldwide, but I do like that. I'm not gonna have a main menu. I'll have it on my product pages instead, but for the main page, I want it more sleek and minimalized. So we're just gonna have the banner under the logo. And yeah, here pretty much everything you can, you know, you wanna put, you wanna put a bag instead of a cart, like literally, you can make it your own style a thousand percent. Then we're gonna, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna add two images to this um and i'm gonna make this the bottom one so for the first one you just press desktop and as you can see here i do have some of my images from before so i'm gonna press that one and select it and then do the same for mobile and what i love here is that you don't have to like come out of here and click mobile in order to customize it. You literally could customize mobile in desktop as well, which is so much easier, so much quicker and less work. You know, guys, like work smarter, not harder. That's exactly what Shop Liza provides for you, which I love. So now we're gonna put shop now for the button. I'll bring them to my collection. Um, then an uh, image slide header. All right, so I'm just gonna do like a little quick slogan there just so we don't waste so much time. And then for the second image, I do wanna put a cat just because we can't leave out the cats. They're just as important. Uh, so I love that. Same thing, let's put shop now. And shop your favorite cats and your favorite cat products. Okay. okay. So I think that looks cute. So here is my slideshow. As soon as they get on, they will see all of it. Oop, where is my button? I did not link it to a collection. So let's link that. And then boom, we are good to go. So I love that. I think that's very inviting, especially being a pet owner myself. I would definitely be intrigued. So now this is the fun part. Now you wanna add your products in. So you see the template has one section there and then they have another one here. So you wanna make sure you have both areas are filled. You can customize how many products you want shown. If you don't have that many products, obviously you don't wanna leave things blank because that won't look good. But let's say you like only had four products then boom just change it to four you know and really only have four and you can't and you don't want to duplicate it you can go here and just hide that from your theme until you're ready to add more products but i am going to be adding enough for both sections here so let's go back so there we go now go back and let's add some products. So now to add your products, which this is a very important step because this is like the real deal here. So as you can see, I already have my products in, but I do wanna show you guys how to put one in just because you should know. So let's go back and create a product. Now you wanna think of a product title 
Um, here you can be as creative as you want. By all means, make it, let it stand out. Don't make it so vague. Um, you can if you want, but I feel like when you add a name to it, or especially like a pet name, you know, there's probably a good chance that someone's gonna be like, oh my God, my dog's name is Lola. Let me get her this Lola leash, you know? So like little cute things like that, especially starting your own store, you gotta think about it, what would make a consumer want to purchase from your own online store? So let's start with that. So we're going to do Lolo's, oops, Lolo's pillow dog bed. And here, if you want to put a subtitle, you're definitely 100% able to. I'm going to leave it clear just because I don't really need one as of right now. Um, and then here you always want to write a description for your products just so it matches more for SEOs. It, it will show up on people's Google searches. Like you want to be very descriptive about it, but not only for it to come up on searches, but also for your consumers. You want them to know exactly what they're getting. If you don't have any descriptions, they have no idea what they're purchasing and most likely they're not going to purchase from you. So right now we'll just put something very simple. Um, I would also put the measurement of the bed, the texture of the bed, um, all that good stuff, but I don't wanna drag this out. So I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna write the heading of the description. If I had more to put, I would just put a little bulletin and put, like I said, the size and everything. But for right now, comfy dog pillow, perfect for your lazy dogs. This dog bed will be the answer for making your dog want to sleep on their own bed. So nice, cute, takes their attention, and then boom, we put in all the important description stuff. Um, so here you want to make sure you put publish because if that's not on, then this will not show up on your store. Charge tax on this product. Um, require shipping, yes. Your SPU, so whatever it is, you know, for right now, just make one up. Virtual sales. So it's so it's how many you want to sell. If you don't want to sell any more than like I don't know twenty or so, you know, especially for drop shipping, this is very important to have. Um, collection. Then you put in. Let's put in pet stuff. Your tags, you definitely want to put in tags. This will make it easier when people do searches on your website. These tags will then make th these products come up with the related searches that they do. And then here, if you don't want to forget where you got the item so you can order from the vendor again, it's very, very convenient to have this information saved just for your own well-being and instead of going through invoices this is the way to go and then here you can edit the website seo and make it you know more descriptive so people can find it easier and want to shop your product so now next here is where we put in the photo so we're gonna put in a photo of the bed and that's how it looks so very cute. I feel like my dog Scotty deserves a bed like this. <laughs> so here, if I had more than one color, I would put multiple variants and then add the options, color, names, whatever it is, size. Um, but since I don't and I only have one, I'm going to put single. Here you want to put the price. So I'll say $39.99 compared at and this is if you want to show that it's on sale you would like to put that but it's not on sale so we're not going to do that and then here is cost per item how much it costs you so let's put like $9.99 and this the way part is very important because you want to make sure you do have that in if not it won't get your shipping the way you want it and that's very important you don't want to get screwed out of shipping costs because you didn't put in the weight of your items so now SKU we'll put anything but this is important you should have a legit SKU number and then barcode same thing but we're just going with the flow and then after that you save and 
boom, it is now part of your products and you can see it right there. So that is pretty cool. So now let's go back. And since I've already put in all my products, literally all I have to do is come here, collection, and select which collection I want here. So I want my pet stuff on the top. And I will put, instead of pet sellers, I'll put dogs top choices. And delete that. So I think that's kind of cute. So you see everything is there. It's labeled. It has the names. It has the prices. The photos are very eye-catching. So I think that looks really, really good. Right? Right? Right. <laughs> so now here is a banner, but we will get to that in a second. I just want to focus on all the products right now. So now for the second area for the collection products, I am going to add cat favorites because we can't forget about these cats. And then instead of new arrivals, I'm going to put cat, your cats, oop, what, your cats, mm, let's see, what did I put here? Dogs, top choices, your um, I'll just put cats favorites. Cats favorites. Okay. Dog top choices. All right, so here we have our product. So let me know what you think. I think it looks really cute. I think it's very to the point and you see it and you're like, okay, I get what I have. So these are the only products I have. So I'm not gonna add more to this page. Like literally this is it and that works out perfect because you can see here, I have exactly what I need. The photos look good. It's very eye catching. I love color and I feel like the color is definitely like popping out with my products, which is really, really good. So now for the slideshow here, I do like it, but I actually want to just slide it down and not put it there. And this I'm going to put in between and change these photos. So I do want to say if let's say you don't like what's on the theme, you can add section. And here literally you can go through everything and add what you think would make your website look the best. I also love that they have like the Instagram feature right there and then you just sign in and boom, your Instagram feed will be on your website. You can do single products, you can do videos, like they have it all. Like when I'm telling you they're no joke, like literally everything they have works out perfectly for you and you should definitely take advantage the more the better, you know, but you don't want to overwhelm your clients either. So don't make it look too messy, but make it that they're like, they trust your brand. They're like, wow, this person really put a lot into this brand. I want to support them and yeah, let the money just flow in. So that's also cool that Shop Liza gives you that opportunity to do this. And the thing is, I'm not a professional web designer by all means. But this is so convenient that I can do this on my own, you know? So if you're a beginner or if you're even an expert, like you would still be amazed with the quality of their features. I am like really, really impressed with this. So here going back online store, you can see these three photos, which are very, very cute. They had it already in there, but I do want to change it up and spice it up a little bit. So you know how I said I love color. I already had these pictures selected. So they are in here, but if you don't have them in here, all you have to do is just upload them into your library and boom, you are good to go. If you don't have photos, they have a lot of photos you can pick. You can just go through these and just pick your favorite ones and then boom, put it on your website and you're good to go. So you don't need to hire a whole photography team to start your website when they literally provide it all for you. So there we go. Those are going to be my three images. I think that's super cute. 
and we can link them to go somewhere so i'll put like oh pet stuff cat favorites and oh, the last one will be products let's put like lolo's pillow bed that we created before and then also another thing I do want to say to you guys with your photos, um, you always want to add in alt text that will help with your SEOs and it really does help with ranking and getting people to your website. So just keep a mental note about that when you're building your online store. So that's something really, really important to keep in mind. So here we are. Repeat delivery, buy online, pick up in stores, quick reorder. I like that. I like this little thing here. And then sign up for our newsletter. And this I would spice up a little bit more. Let's put, say 15% off. Yeah. Never miss a new arrival. Okay, so I would just like something like that, you know, I would put more thought into this but for right now we're just keeping it like that i think that's good and then for your footer this is where you would put in all the information that you want to put your copyright your specific information description and all that good stuff so i think that looks really really good and then that's pretty much it this is my online store this is where how i build it it's very self-explanatory, like I said. Um, and then once you're ready, you publish it. And it will replace my other one that I did before, which is completely fine. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and then boom, we're all good to go. Here we can do all different things, but if you wanna view it, here we are. This is how someone would view this online store and they can just go ahead and shop from there so as you can see here we would put more description and stuff like that but this is like pretty much it this is very self-explanatory exactly how i would have it and i think i am obsessed because this took me literally like 20 minutes if that to get everything together and to figure out how to use shop liza like it didn't take me days to figure this out you know so once you figure out your themes you have your pages here that you can add to your store your na navigation which is your main menu you can add more to the main menu make it say new best sellers sell items whatever it is you know by all means this is where you want to go and then after that you definitely want to go to settings add more staff members give them all your store information um your merchant notification and that is like when they order from you what they get as an email so you can customize this which is pretty awesome then you can go to your payments set this up which is very very to the point you're not gonna go all over the place thinking like how do i do this how do i get my money like nope they have it all covered it's right here just sign into your accounts put in what you need and you are all good to go then here your checkout you can you know figure out how you want to put your settings for this it's very like i said self-explanatory you can put which tax identification numbers you have like all that good stuff literally like you just read it and you'll know exactly what to do like i really don't have to go through every little thing just because shop liza the most convenient thing about them is that everything is so easy to just read and and know it right away so here you do want to make sure your policies are in here um and this is just for your store let them know you know your consumers 
what's your refund policy what's your privacy policy what's the term of service so these are very very important so make sure you have this before you do publish your site and then your domain and this is what your website would be obviously i would change that and make it a dot com and then your taxes and your shipping like all this should be done before you publish your site just because once you publish it you know people can purchase from you and you don't want to not have this now you want to decide which plan is best for you for your online store so shop liza offers five different plans you, they have the basic, advanced, ultimate, enterprise, and professional. So here you want to check which commission and staff account is more suitable for you. And then from there, choose the one you like the most. So I would definitely recommend once your seven days are up, pick a plan because this is what's going to let you keep that online store and let you grow as well. So I absolutely would say pick. As soon as you know which one you want, just pick it. Even if it's before the seven days, just do it so you have a peace of mind. So now, once your store is up and running, you have all your settings completed, you're good to go. Here is where you will see your orders. All your orders will be here, your abandoned checkout. So this is like when people put things in their cart, but then they don't check out all the way. So it's always good to check this out and see what people like and maybe, you know, send them like uh, email saying their stuff is on sale or give them a coupon or something just so you can complete that checkout uh, for that customer. And then after here is your after sales and then here is your paypal dispute so all this stuff you know you would have running and all organized for you which is awesome and then here are all your products like i showed you before you can go to collections you can go right into reviews which i love that they have this just because like a lot of places don't offer this you know you have to like get an app and put the reviews in like it's a whole headache so for them to offer this right from the start is pretty pretty amazing which i absolutely love so we will enable now and then product feed we don't have that yet but when we do and when we want to we just add feed and then boom it's all good to go then we have the customers and here is where you will see all those people that have purchased from you and signed up for your newsletter you will see their email subscribers you will see the purchase returning like everything about your customers will be in one place which is really good too you don't have to go all over the place trying to find like where's this customer was that like no 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 it's all together so that's really really good and then here is the notifications like i said you can definitely just fix this up make it more you and once your customers get this once they order from you it's just a easier experience and you always want to make sure the experience matches your online store so your customer can be a returning customer and then here are blog posts you can also add blogs to your online store which is amazing so you don't have to do an app like i said everything is right here like this is amazing and such amazing features that they offer for people that want to just build and not go all over the place you know like it's right here you can get it it's self-explanatory for yourself and your staff members too so everything like shop lights are really knew exactly what they were doing when they started this and then now marketing which is my favorite part of it all so here all in one place you can do ads right on facebook they give you actually sales you can customize which sales you want to promote your email marketing you can collect customer email address like literally everything and then from here you can choose the platform that you want your ads to run and you just connect it TikTok even like tell me that's not impressive guys like this is the best thing I've seen like I said a lot of other platforms when you build your website you have to add ads in order to have this it's never right in one place so this is pretty cool that they have that so here you do discount codes pop-ups 
for your website, also sales pop, like it's everything literally you can think of they have for you and it's all good to go. And then analytics, this is a very important page, um, especially when you're up and running, you wanna know where your customers are from, how many you're getting a day, how long are they staying there, if they have active cards, checking out, how many are purchasing, like this is where it says it all. So this right here is an important, important page to be on and always check. So like Shop Liza is meant for you to grow and this is exactly what that is for. The, the numbers will help you target exactly where you're selling, what you're selling and just blow up from there. So I would definitely recommend using them for that reason too. So like everything is like literally in detailed for you. It tells you exactly what people are looking at, what's going to trend, your reports, like everything's all in one place. And then now last but not least, they do have an app store. And here is where you can add more apps to your website if you want to like build it up with more stuff that they don't offer here, which is completely fine because everyone does have an app store. So this is a great place to just add more stuff, make it more of an experience for your consumers when they do go on your online store. And yeah, and then that's pretty much it guys. That is exactly how you would build an online store with Shop Liza. Like I said, it's very to the point. This is like amazing. It's beautiful, their themes. They're like nothing out there. Like it's so beautiful and so easy to do. Like I'm shocked there aren't more online business owners because with this like there should everyone should have a store at this point you know so definitely let me know what you guys think about it let me know what you think about my little pet store and that's it like that was so easy so convenient for me it's easy enough for beginners people that have no idea what they're doing and it's amazing enough for experts like all the features they have it's just like like so unlimited that I actually really appreciate it and I would definitely recommend them to everyone. If not, I wouldn't be making this video. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions whatsoever about Shop Liza, about building an online business or anything like that. I am always happy to help. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys, bye.